Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. And if you want to reach out to me and you want help with your football coaching business, then visit the description below this video. Number of ways that uh, I can help you with your business, right? So don't stay stuck. Reach out to me. Number of ways you can do that. And also remember to subscribe to the channel. So today I want to share with you how you can build a one day per week football coaching business. Now, this is a question I get asked on a regular basis is, Leo, how can I go from coaching every single night to building a business that is sustainable and I'm only coaching one day per week, right? Now, if you've ever worked with me, then this is what I focus on, right? I help football coaches transition from working every single day to building a business where they're coaching one day per week and then they're using the rest of the week to grow, to market, to promote what they're doing. Now, let me be very clear here that once your one day per week starts to grow, then this is this is where we then grow and scale and get to the next level. But this is something I'm going to talk about. So on the screen in front of me, I've got a very simple three-step way on how you can build a one-day-per-week football coaching business. Okay. So first of all, number one, you've got to pick, you've got to pick a, a day and a time for your football coaching sessions, right? For for your football sessions. And you've got to make sure that this doesn't clash with your players' team sessions, right? Now, if it does clash with their team sessions, typically what tends to happen is players will go to their club sessions instead of yours, right? So you've got to make sure that you speak to your customers and find out what days in the week work best, okay? So I'm going to give you a very simple example. When I first started my football coaching business i did it to where we were training one one day per week and all my sessions were saturday morning okay now that's not exactly correct because when i first started i was actually doing a lot of one-on-one -on -one sessions every single day and then i transitioned to groups right so i'll i'll, I'll start again so when i first started my business I was doing 20 to 30 one-on-one -on -one sessions per week. Okay. And this was, these were sessions that I was doing uh, in the evening. And these were sessions that I was doing all day Saturday, all day Sunday. Now, what started to happen is as most football coaches out there that, that are running a coaching business, they start to get burnt out. And this is what, what started to happen to me, right? I started to get burnt out. And I realized, right, if I'm going to do this long term, then I have to transition from 20 to 30 individual sessions to now moving into groups. Now, there's coaches out there that I've worked with who all they like to do is one to one sessions. Now, that's fine. And if you find a really good business model that works for you, then you can grow that and scale. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to keep everything in-house. Uh, at, the, at the beginning, I didn't want to bring in an assistant coach to help me. So I kept everything for me, right? So I had to then transition those players into groups. So what I did is I realized, right, I'm coaching every single night, every single evening, every single day, every single weekend, I'm close to getting burnt out. I'm close to wanting to quit the business. I had to get on the phone with my parents and ask them what day in the week works best for you guys, right? And based on the results that I was getting, Saturday a.m. was the best option for the parents that I was working with. Now, some of them, Saturday a.m. didn't work. So some of them actually ended up leaving my program but that's okay okay because i then had to change when you change to a new model these are things that are going to happen you're going to lose some parents and players 
It's as simple as that. But in order to keep continue to grow, you need to make sure you make these hard decisions. So I picked Saturday a.m. to run all my sessions out of. So I transitioned into three groups of 12 players. So I went from 30, close to 30 to 35 individual sessions. I then moved all of that into three groups of 12 players. And I ran sessions from 9 a.m., 9 to 10, 10 to 11, 11 to 12. Okay, and at the time I was coaching 36 players. Okay, so this is a model that you can take with you, right? So it's based on one session per week in groups, okay? Doing either 9 to 10, 10 to 11, 11 to 12, or maybe you just pick one of those hours, okay? And I, I moved all my sessions into groups, okay? Then what I started to do as my group started to grow, then a lot of players started to want individual sessions, right? So parents started to reach out to me and say, oh, do you do one-to-one -one sessions? So I realized that, right, if I was to grow that again, I don't want to be working Monday to Friday every single day nonstop. I wanted to keep everything on one day. So what I, ha I had to then do is I had to then bring in a coach, an assistant coach, and all he did was he focused on the one-on-one -on -one stuff, okay? So as he focused on the one-on-one -on -one stuff, then I was able to focus on the groups. And what I did is I ran all the one-on-one -on -one sessions next to my group sessions. So I was keeping everything on one day, and I was making sure that the business was growing that way. Now, as the groups started to sell out and fill up, I then opened a fourth hour. So then I went from running my sessions only up until 12 p.m. to then offering it 12 to 1 p.m. So then I started opening another hour, but I kept it within that Saturday morning. And I did the same with one-on-one -on -one training. Okay, if the if I saw that there was big demand for that one-on-one -on -one session or one-on-one -on -one coaching, then I opened it to another hour. So I was coaching, my business was was coaching three players, three one-on-one -on -one individual sessions on that Saturday. And then what I started to see, right, because there was more and more interest, we opened it, but we kept everything on that same day. Okay. So this is something you can do. And going back to my third one is once your group or one-to-one -one session uh, sessions fill up, then you can either add an extra hour and keep it on that one day, or you add an extra day, right? So it might be instead of just doing everything on the Saturday, that you then open up the Sunday as well. But the way my business model worked was I kept it all on one day. And by keeping it all on one day, that allowed me to then spend Monday to Friday solely on growing the business, which meant networking, marketing, sales, promoting, and just getting my brand out there in front of, of parents. Okay. So if you need more help with this, right, this is something I've done myself. This is something that I help coaches to do with their coaching business so if this is something you want to do this is something if this is something you want to transition in then reach out to me the best way to do it would be either contact me through whatsapp okay send me a message or you can book a free 10 to 15 minute call where we jump on zoom i can ask you some questions about where you currently are and i can show you some action action steps to take this week to grow and scale. Okay. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to our channel.